It is said to be an incredible astronomical show and one which won't appear again until 2034. On November 14, the Moon will be the closest to Earth it's been since January 1948. During the event, it will appear up to 14% bigger and 30% brighter than an average full Moon. Miss it and you're in for a long wait. It is the closest the Moon will get to Earth until November 25, 2034. In fact, it is the third supermoon of the year and the most impressive. On October 6, 16th and December 14th, the moon becomes full on the same day as perigee. However, on November 14th, it becomes full within about two hours of perigee, arguably making it an extra super moon. It is not only the closest full moon of 2016 but also the closest full moon to date in the 21st century. It will happen in the morning hours before sunrise in western North America and the Pacific Islands to the east of the international date line. The best time to view a super moon is when the moon is is low on the horizon where an illusion will occur that makes it look unnaturally larger, according to ACC weather. However, the moon will look plenty full and bright all night long on both nights. Astronomers say November 13th and 14th, as it rises in the east around sunset, climbs highest up around midnight, and then sets in the west at or near sunset. The moon will reach the crest of its full phase on November 14th at 1352 UTC. That translates to 952 AM AST. 8.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7.52 a.m. Central Standard Time, 6.52 a.m. MST, 5.52 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The supermoon of December 14th will be remarkable for a different reason. It's going to wipe out the view of the Geminid meteor shower. NASA said bright moonlight will reduce the visibility of faint meteors 5 to 10 fold, transforming the usually fantastic Geminids into an astronomical footnote. It claims sky Watchers will be lucky to see a dozen Geminids per hour when the shower peaks. A supermoon is undeniably beautiful, said NASA, and we can multiply that beauty by three as 2016 comes to a close. October 16th, November 14th, and December 14th. Mark your calendar and enjoy the super moonlight. Earlier this year a hunter's moon and a supermoon combined. The combination produced a red moon which appears larger than normal and should be visible in the northern hemisphere this weekend. A Hunter's moon, which is also a blood moon, rises much earlier in the evening than usual. It is the first full moon after the harvest moon. Typically, the moon rises 50 minutes later each day, according to Universe Today. But a blood moon tends to rise only 30 minutes later, shortening the time between sunset and moon rise. The red color is caused by the moon's proximity to the horizon. An article in Earth Sky stated, The orange color of a moon near the horizon is a true physical effect. It stems from the fact that when you look toward the horizon, you are looking through a greater thickness of Earth's atmosphere than when you gaze up and overhead. Blue light is scattered by the atmosphere, which usually makes the moon appear white in the sky. But when the atmosphere is thicker, it lets red light pass through, which means that when the moon is near the horizon, it appears red, as well as appearing red. The moon is also predicted to look bigger than usual this weekend due to a supermoon. The supermoon occurs when the moon is at its closest distance to Earth during its orbit. It, making it appear larger than normal. People in the Northern Hemisphere can catch a glimpse of this rare blood and supermoon this weekend. But there is good news for those in the Southern Hemisphere. A blood supermoon should appear between March and September. The best time to watch the blood supermoon depends on your location. For the UK, the moon turns full at 5.23 a.m. BST on October 16th, at which time the moon shines in their western sky.